Hey guys, Versyth here. I am just getting back from PAX East and with me I have a copy of Tiny Tina's Robot Tea Party. As you can see from the front cover, our girl is not so small anymore. This card game is absolutely amazing and I just wanted to show you the box contents and a little on how the game operates because it's really cool. This is the back here. This is Tiny Tina's invitation to us for this tea party to have a good time with her and obviously fiddle around with Claptrap and torture and just modify the living crap out of him. That's basically what this game is. I want to thank you guys so much for the support on my Best of Borderlands 2 videos over the weekend. I mean a crazy amount of subscribers here. I want to welcome you all but obviously this was the main reason why everybody purchased a copy of this car game. A shift code at the very bottom which I'm going to showcase at the end of the video. I'm just going to say it here and now because I don't want to waste your time if you came just for that. It's a little on the disappointing side, but something's better than nothing. So, this game revolves around Claptrap. Now, of course, you need to pick the Claptrap that you're going to be playing with, playing as. So, the coolest ones, in my opinion, are the Pirate and the Wizard. I actually started my first game out as the Wizard Claptrap. So, once you pick your body, you can play with up to five players. Obviously, those are all of the Claptrap models there. And your guys' goal is going to be to build your Claptrap as quick as possible. So the matching parts to said body. So if I'm playing as the Wizard Claptrap, I want to get two Wizard Arms, the Wizard Legs, and a Wizard Head on my Claptrap to win. First person to build their Claptrap wins the game, obviously. Now, there's action cards involved in this that will throw a twist on things. You know, you can delay your opponents or reset them back a few pieces by knocking off pieces of Claptrap. When you go through the deck itself, you will obviously reshuffle it when there are no more cards to draw. But this is a turn-based card game. It's really cool. There's wild card parts in there that you can use on any Claptrap, so that's a nice way of mixing things up. But it is a really cool game, and I would say with two people, it was right around 25-30 minutes. It's a nice game to play with friends if you're just trying to kill time, or you have people over, and maybe you're throwing a party and you want to toss out a card game. This is really really cool and I am now officially happy that I didn't spend the $25 on just a shift code because I genuinely enjoyed this and I'm hoping that I can introduce this to friends of mine who don't play video games because I think this is something that even if you're not familiar with Borderlands this is something that you would genuinely enjoy. When you take out your rulebook, you're gonna see that there is more than one side and I'm previewing both of those sides in this video, just kind of going through a simulated version of the text and the fine lines, but there's a true Vault Hunter mode that you can play as well. So instead of just building your Claptrap all the way through and winning the game, you can turn your Claptrap around and start the true Vault Hunter mode playthrough, which extends the game out and adds a little more difficulty and and that's going to drag things on for everyone. So I haven't done that yet. I'm looking forward to doing that with a big group over some drinks. I think that would be really cool. But this is me redeeming the shift key here. And let's see what I get. Lo and behold, three golden keys. But I said to myself, maybe the shift code gods want to hook your boy up. So I ran over to Sanctuary and I hit the chest, hoping for the orange goodness. And as you can see, average gold keys but again it's the thought that counts i think the main reason why randy put the shift code in of course is to get people to venture out and grab a copy of this car game and not so much make it about the shift code it's like now that you have this game you bought it for more than the shift code try the game out just like i did and it is absolutely amazing so i'm not sure when this goes on sale it might already be online on the gearbox website or borderlands.com whichever or but definitely get a copy because as a Borderlands fan I promise this is something that you'll really really enjoy. So that is it for the unboxing. Before I close out the video I want to thank all the new subscribers here and everybody who supported the best of Handsome Jack, the best of Tiny Tina and Mr. Torg over the weekend and just in general because they've become some of my best response videos here on YouTube and I want to thank you guys so much for that because a lot of 
hard work went into the videos when it comes to the filming end and then the heavy editing, but it is absolutely worth it because your response is the main thing I care about here on YouTube, making quality content that is really enjoyable and seeing your responses. It's the best treat out there. And I'm sure you guys hear that a lot, but coming from somebody who genuinely enjoys this as a hobby, it's, it's nice, you know, it's really nice to see people happy. So thank you guys so much and follow me on social media. The end of this upcoming week, I'll be going to Japan. I'm looking to get the best of Claptrap out before I leave. But the reason why I invite you guys to follow me on social media, it's a nice way to stay updated with this channel. And I think it would be really cool for you guys to see some of Japan through my eyes. So I'm gonna throw up my social media links on the screen and in the description of this YouTube video. I hope you guys have a awesome weekend. Thank you guys so much for all the support and hey to all the new Borderlands subscribers that are here. I will catch you guys in the next upload later.